Hi, good day. Welcome back to our class, Chemistry 100B Laboratory. Today, I will be giving a pre-lab lecture on the activity on kinds of matter and their properties. Kindly listen attentively and observe as I'm going to do a demo. The first part of the activity is we are going to observe the physical state, the color, and the solubility of sulfur and antimony. So, this is sulfur and this is antimony. We are going to observe their physical state, the color, and the solubility in carbon disulfide. If you are going to look at sulfur, what is its state? What is its color? If you are going to look at the antimony, what is its state? What is its color? Now let us get a pinch of sulfur and dissolve it in carbon disulfide. I would like to tell you that this carbon disulfide is very odorous. So it would be better that when you're going to perform this activity, you have to wear masks. We're going to dissolve a pinch of this sulfur into 3 ml of the carbon disulfide. Get a pinch of the antimony and then place it into the carbon disulfide. Now observe, which of the two dissolved in carbon disulfide? Is it the sulfur or the antimony? Then you are asking the lab guide, which of the two form a homogeneous mixture? The next procedure is, you are going to mix 1.5 grams of antimony with 2 grams of sulfur. So with this antimony that we have, we are going to place this into the mortar and pestle. And we are going to mix this with the sulfur. Okay, describe the appearance of the mixture. With this mixture of the sulfur and the antimony, we will get one half of this and add it with carbon disulfide. Okay, then stir the mixture. What have you observed? Then we will let this mixture settle for some time. Now, with this mixture of the sulfur and the antimony, which was added with carbon disulfide and allowed to settle, we will decant this carbon disulfide into the evaporating dish.
and we will observe it what will happen we will allow the supernatant to be evaporated off without the use of heat The next procedure is we are going to ignite the magnesium ribbon into this non-luminous flame. Let us ignite this magnesium ribbon into the non-luminous flame and observe. What have you observed? Look at the color of the ash after burning the magnesium ribbon. Now you are asked to write the chemical equation representing the reaction. Because this is magnesium being burned, so the chemical reaction is magnesium plus oxygen equals magnesium oxide. The next procedure is we are going to mix the iron filings and sulfur in an evaporating dish. This is sulfur. And we will mix this with iron filings. Okay, observe the mixture. We will transfer half of this mixture into a test tube and we will heat it over a low flame. Observe what happens to the mixture when it is heated over a low flame. Then we will pour this heated mixture into a watch glass and I want you to observe what happens. Observe what happens. So we have done the activity on the kinds of matter and their properties. What are you going to do next? You are going to write all the observations that you have made while I was doing the demonstration. And also answer the questions being asked in the activity. Please submit your output on Friday and be prepared for a short quiz about the common laboratory operations and this activity that we have today on the kinds of matter and their properties that will be on Friday. This is your teacher, Professor Nesita Ruiz of Holy Name University.